I'm Jim Becca, and I've taught journalism at New Caney High School for many years. But the hardest part of teaching journalism is teaching students how to recognize newsworthy events. High school students pick some of the worst topics to write papers and produce videos over. Now, I didn't think that up on my own. Former UIL director Bobby Hawthorne pointed it out to a group of my students at the University of Texas at a conference we attended a couple years ago. High school is an exciting time. And what do students cover in assignments? Lots of boring things. But it's true. When it comes to taking photographs for photojournalism or putting together stories for the school newspaper or Eagle Vision, the television network, students often come back to my room with nothing of interest. They say nothing is happening in the school. Of course, the obvious question is, how can a school with between 1,500 and 2,000 students have nothing happening in it? Now, it's true, often students are in classes, but there's always something going on in school. And the most important thing I can teach you is just to pay attention. Now, I'll give you an example. Now, I'm not trying to embarrass anyone, but I took some students out the other day because we needed stories for the newspaper and television. Our weekly television program, Eagle Vision, was in need specifically of more sports stories. And a couple of teams practiced last period. So I decided to walk around with my last period class and shoot a couple of stories and take some still photos also for the newspaper. Now this class has a lot of potential but most of the class spent the period just kind of roaming around talking and really not producing much much of anything of interest they said there was nothing going on and just kind of they just kind of stood around and looked at each other now the one thing that i really should point out is that coaches and teachers and other faculty know the difference between a serious student that's there to get a story and take photos for the newspaper and one who just really wants to walk around and has no idea of what they're doing in the school <laughs> teachers and coaches will cooperate a whole lot more with a serious student and you can see from this video that there was actually a lot going on that a few of the students actually captured on video and could be used in Eagle Vision. Now that often happens and it's not because they're bad students, it's just sometimes you just can't see the obvious things that are going on around you. Now there were three different teams practicing and all kinds of interesting people. While most of the students stood around, a couple of the students joined me in shooting video and taking pictures. And the first thing I noticed when I walked out of the school was a lone runner. And she ran an incredible route. I stopped her a few minutes and got her to explain why she puts herself through such a rigorous workout. And she had a lot of interesting things to share. It's a stress reliever for me. I know some kids play video games or do something else that I just try to keep my health. There was a security officer patrolling the parking lot and campus security is a major issue these days and he has some interesting things to say about his job. Obviously they're real important because they're trying to keep intruders out of the building. That's the whole point. There were a lot of interesting people we talked with that day like a New Caney High School teacher that had just retired after 30 years of service. And believe it or not, when he was hired 30 years ago, they hired him in place of the other applicant, George Strait. There's a lot of stories, a lot of things going on. If you're a serious student and keep your eyes open, you'll find them.